actor and animal activist Lou Wagner is here, uh, and he's got a little fuzzy friends. We're going to get into these little guys' story in just a little bit, but uh, let's talk about yours because you okay. cr created an organization, yeah, um, which is called Kids Against Animal Cruelty. You started at a very young age. Why did you want to mm -hmm. put this together? Well, I um, I've always been around animals my whole life. You know, as a little kid, my parents enrolled me in zoo camp and uh, focused on the importance of conservation with the wildlife. Mm -hmm. And then as I grew older, oh my oh, gosh, oh. look how cute! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, gosh. That's my little muffin. <laughs> <laughs> little, so cute! <laughs> wow, it's like a little cowboy. Oh, that's zoo camp. I'm on the bottom left. So zoo camp um, really changed. Oh, there you are, circled there. Yeah, yeah. really okay. had a very profound effect on you. Yeah, it was. You know, it just talked about. Um, you know, like I said, the importance of conservation with the wildlife and um, how to really um, protect animals and help them from going inst instinct. And um, after I turned about 10 or 11, my parents put me in a more uh, hands-on uh, animal hospital with the wildlife camp that was uh, very into like coyotes and skunks and rabbits and uh, birds and snakes. And it was all injured animals that would come into this wildlife hospital. And they had the kids basically, you know, help uh, the doctors with bringing them blankets and food and mm -hmm. um, taking them outside to get their exercise and help feed them. And a lot of them couldn't be released back into the wild because of um, how close they got to the humans. Right. Uh, so I've always been around animals my whole life. And then I moved out here to be an actor um, four years ago. And uh, the first audition I ever had, I had no idea what to put in my resume. So I put, I love animals. And the director fell in love immediately because she volunteers at animal shelters all the time. And so she gave me the job, but then after the job, she got me volunteering at local animal shelters here in Los Angeles. And um, then, you know, as a kid though, I was 14, I didn't know that when you go to an animal shelter, all these animals have a chance of being euthanized. And millions of animals are being euthanized in U.S. shelters every year. And you know, as a kid, I thought shelters are a safe place for animals. I mean, this is gonna be so cool. These animals are safe, they're gonna go to loving homes. Mm -hmm. Little did I realize, um, what happens behind the doors and how many of these animals do not make it. How'd you feel about that? So, I, I still, to this day, I, I walk in, you know, I act all high and mighty, trying to like get the animals safe and be confident for the animals, but then if you go to a shelter and you see me there, and most of the time I'm just sitting at every single cage, just like with my head against the cage, petting all of them and trying to um, give them treats and just give them comfort and love. And Well, you started so, an organization through your social media to yeah. bring awareness to them. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, what we did is um, I got, through, the, through these horrors, I got a whole bunch of friends together, and we go on the streets and uh, raise money for shelters, and we go to shelter adoptions and try to hold up signs to say, come to the shelter to adopt these animals. And uh, through an interview one time, I found out, I saw in the interview that I was holding a sign, ironically enough, that we're kids against animal cruelty. So I was like, oh my God, that's what we should call the group, is kids against animal cruelty. So we started kids against animal cruelty with like 40, 40 friends as just a yeah. way to keep in contact about shelter events and network animals that are in desperate need of help. And then um, just over time grew into a global organization now. We have. Well, let's talk about the, uh, the, the animals right now that need help this time of year. Yeah. And the Easter's coming up and everybody thinks, oh my gosh, wouldn't it be cute to give a bunny mm -hmm. to, to my, my child? So what are you here to say about that? Is it a good idea or not a good idea? You know, bunnies, they take a lot of specialized care. So if you're gonna get a bunny, you really have to be prepared. And um, like female bunnies, for example, they can reproduce every 28 days. So, wow. you know, uh, I think a pair wow. of bunnies can have up to 800 little baby bunnies in a year. Wow. And um, it's just, if you're gonna get a bunny, you really have to understand the hardships that go into it. Like, you ha they're, they're chewers. And the reason for that is because their teeth never stop growing, kind of like rats. So they always need to chew on things. You have to have plenty of play, toy, um, play toys, chew toys. You gotta have, they need 75% of their diet is hay. Um, mm. And you always wanna make sure if you're gonna get a bunny that you wanna spay or neuter your pets. I mean, and a lot of people will say, we only have one rabbit, so why spay or neuter them? And right. the reason for that is with male bunnies especially, um, unneutered male bunnies will become kind of aggressive and territorial as they get older. Right. And uh, both male and female bunnies have an 85% chance if they are not spayed or neutered of getting cancer. Well, um, when, you, when you say they get aggressive later on, I kind mm -hmm. of wanna joke and say, well, it's a bunny, how aggressive <laughs> can it get? But what kind of behaviors yeah. do they? Just they, territorial. Um, yeah. You know, they might try to nibble at you or things they like bite. that. They bite. They bite. They bite. They bite. They have yeah. very sharp teeth. Yeah, you teeth. had that, right? You said I did. My granddaughter one. has a, a bunny, and whenever I go in to feed the bunny, the bunny it will chew the food, but then it will mm -hmm. chew my finger, like get your hands off my yeah. carrot or my apple, mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, <laughs> and they you bite go. you. They're so, but they're, they're so, so be, like you said, there's a lot of extra care and maintenance yeah, to them. The way I tell people is if you're going to get a bunny, think of it as basically adopting a kid you know, because it takes a lot of specialized care and you want to treat it as if it is your family. So if you are going to get a bunny, um, 
really. How, how long do they live? How long would they be a pet if you're going to get a little bunny this Easter? How long would you expect that gift to keep giving some child? Um, about ten years, probably. Really, they yeah. live that long? About ten years, yeah. Yeah, our our yeah. bunny's like mm -hmm. seven years old already. Wow. Yeah, wow. they do. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. Um, but also, they you have to keep their cages clean. Like mm -hmm. I, we clean the cage like every other day. Yeah. Because they they ha they leave little M and M's everywhere. Mm -hmm. A lot of they, them. They're messy little, little guys. Yeah, they are. And just to be, they're not really. They're not real M and M's. Oh, look at look at the bunny food. Tell us about these guys, uh, oh, Lou. Are these so these are cute. in the shelter? Mm -hmm. Well, this is uh, Patrick and Soleil, mm -hmm. and. Um, they are, they came from a rescue called Bunny Love Rescue. Mm -hmm. And they are an amazing example of people who go to the shelters and take bunnies out and go to this rescue. And uh, they're a great place for people to go and check out bunnies because it is a rescue. And all their bunnies, you know, they come um, pre spayed and neutered. They have all their shots. They don't need vaccines. Um, and they also have a lot of information on how to take care of bunnies. And that's the cool thing about bunny rescues like Bunny Love is um, they give you all the information that you need to take yeah. care of a bunny. And, uh, but yes, these bunnies came from the East Valley Shelter here in Los Angeles. And um, well, well, you think you see them, they're so cute, and you think, oh, good, how, how it's not going to be difficult to take care of them, but mm -hmm. it is a huge response. It is, and they are wonderful animals. And yeah. if you want to get one, just, you know, okay. prepare ahead of time and go to people like Bunny Love Rescue to figure out the well, look, tools e education you need. Education is, yeah, education is education key, when, is especially key. because they are, they are cute as can be. More information on Lou's organization, which is called kidsagainstanimalcruelty.org. Go there and you can pick up some uh, good key facts and interesting uh, notes. And you can also find out how you can adopt these little guys uh, by going to bunnylove, that's L-U-V dot org. You see it there at the bottom of the screen.